Hello and welcome to my studio in Brighton, England for an introduction and overview of a brand new modulation based effects plugin by SSL, Modulate. My name is Chris Garvey and I am one of the founding members of the prototypes for 12 years and now focusing my attention on my solo alias Circadian, which launched in 2023. Having had my much loved SSL Complete Bundle for a long time and how much use I've got out of it, when SSL hit me up and said they got a new plugin for me to try, I was all over it. So, without any further ado, let's take a look. So here it is, first look at Modulate. In the middle here, we have our six modulation effects. We've got phaser, flanger, chorus, tremolo, vibrato, and panna. At the top left of each modulation effect, we have our on, off, or bypass button. And if we click and hold, and we can drag to the left or right and sequence these in any sequence we like, which is really cool. And then underneath this, we have our depth for the depth of the effect. We then have our effect parameters, and then we have our LFO, we got our Hertz rate and we have our synced rate. And then if we click on the right hand side button again, we can go into triplet or dotted and then back to normal. And each one of these can be set to different rates and settings and, and all that kind of stuff so that we can conjure up whatever madness we like, which is great. So on the bottom here, we have our LFO shape. So we can have sine, triangle, saw, ramp, square, and we can invert those shapes as well, which is a really nice feature. Manual is so it can accept an external LFO signal. So if you have a door that will accept it like Ableton, then you can set an external LFO to be triggering these LFOs. So here below we have our LF, uh, our lo-fi, sorry, our lo-fi, and we got our space. And if we click and hold, we can drag these to the left or right and swap them around again in the signal chain. And then for lo-fi, we have saturation, retro, which is like a bit reduction distortion, uh, sparkle, which adds very nice top end sheen to things. And then space, we have our pre-delay size mod, for the reverb and we have our mix for each of those effects. Now down below here we have our global section. We've got input and output for input and output levels. Uh, I'm going to go on stereoize and width in a second. We have our global depth here which controls all of the depths for the modulation effects in one fell swoop and then we've got our global mix which again controls all the mix for the entire patch you have going on here. Now width and stereo wise. So stereo wise, if you had a mono signal, but it was on a stereo track, then with stereo wise on, it would create an artificial stereo field. So it's very stereo and it's really cool if you only have a mono signal and you want that to have a stereo field. With the width, if you're incoming signal already has a stereo field but you want to increase or decrease the mids and the sides it works on mids and sides then you can increase or decrease the mid and side and it's actually a really powerful tool that is then we in the middle here we have global lfo so up here i didn't go over one of these which is global so if we click on global and we set however many or whatever we want to do here these now look at the global LFO down the bottom, which means every single one of those LFOs is controlled by the same LFO down the bottom here. And we have the same parameters as we do up here for that. Now, this is very time saving. I mean, the whole the whole module is time saving. Imagine having six modulation effects on your insert chain here and then having to automate all the different rates of everything and parameters of everything separately and uh, you know and all that kind of stuff just loading those on it takes a lot of time so this really does save your time and um, allows for more creativity and more fun which is the aim of the game modulate has been very light on my cpu but if you want to increase the quality of the sounds you can engage the high quality mode button here which produces more oversampling of the sound. So let's make some noise. So I was wondering how to show off the creative side of this best. 
And what I thought would be quite cool is if we just start with just one oscillator, a saw oscillator in Serum for every patch that I'm making, and then drastically try and change the sound of that and just create some cool bass noises and add some organic substance to pads and plucks and things like that. So here we go. This is very dry and this is what we've got here uh, right now. So as you can hear, very dry and very sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything on. So as you can hear, a massive difference there. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through what I've done with some of the modulated patches. So let's start with the drop pad. This is dry. And now with modulate, we are going to start with vibrato. Just adding a nice bit of movement. Chorus. Adding that nice phasey feel, it's tight, it's quite a tight chorus. Phaser, we're going to go with lo-fi. Adding a really nice crusty feel to it there with the retro. And then just a bit of space on there just to give it some depth. Now with the rest of the processing. So what I added here at the end here is just the tremolo again after my processing here uh, just to give it that that pumping feeling like a sidechain. So let's go to our next sound. So this is what it sounds like dry. And now with the modulate. So did this on a 1 8 uh, dotted, just added in the phaser, flanger, tremolo, lo-fi and space again and feel free to copy the settings there if you want to, just to give it that kind of real presence and bring out the resonance in, in the sounds there. Now with the rest of the processing on. One of the things I've been doing for side, just to add a bit of sides, is to use the X delay on the setting. Can I has stereo, please? Yes, please. And then what I've been doing is taking all of the mid on a, a mid side EQ and just taking all of the mid out uh, with the purpose of just adding to the sides at the top, basically. In this way, I always find that it doesn't mess with the phase in the mid and uh, you always want to keep the mid strong that's where the loudness is in your tune next is this little break bass just here dry with modulate so what i did here was add a phaser flanger tremolo and a space it's mainly the phaser and flanger doing uh, the main horse work there and that's because the feedback is so far up and because of that it does create uh, almost like a delay effect so I've just automated the volume there to start when the note starts and end when the note starts to get rid of that but you end up with a quite a cool noise so that's with the flanger just adding that bit of top end resonance tremolo love a bit of tremolo and space again just to add a bit more depth to the sound so with the rest of the processing so really brought out the tops there on the EQ and just dealt with some of the louder resonances within the sound. 
Next up, we've got our res bass. So dry again. Pure saw with modulate. So here doing it on a rate of two bars and then just having the frequencies moving down to create those harmonics coming out of the sound again. Now with the rest of the processing on. So I've got a lovely endless smile there on the end just to kind of wash the sound out at the end and X saturator an X delay with the can I has again and then an EQ here quite drastic uh, but that's how these sounds are made um, just boosting the resonant peaks and then this is automated to come down so it follows follows the frequencies the res bass alternate dry once again we've just got a saw with modulate so really it's just about getting that saw to move and this one feel like there's movement in there rather than just sitting sitting as a saw with the rest of the processing Once again, the EQ really bringing out the peak frequencies there and just rolling down the spectrum. And then I've added in a Reese from Vital and uh, just a pure sine wave there. Then we have the intro noises. So I've got a pad here and a pluck and these sound without processing like this. with modulate on the pad added in the vibrato chorus and phaser moving quite slowly on these with the rest of the processing And that side chain effect there is coming from the tremolo on module eight, uh, which I've added a bit later in the chain, just to give it that movement when I have a kick drum coming in with the drums. Moving on to the pluck, here's what it sounds like with modulate. And dry. Now with this sound, I didn't just use a pure saw wave i also added a second saw wave an octave up and then just edited the envelope so it's more plucky i love the size of the space on this one and obviously the pano is just giving it a bit more depth to the sound and the field and the chorus is making it giving it that organic feel and then using the ssl M lmc plus just to give it more intensity and bring up the reverbs and everything after the initial noise and then adding an EQ in there because it's sitting underneath that thick pad which I just showed you so I wanted to be able to create the space between the two so it is quite a harsh uh, cut on that EQ Great, so I added in some drums here and I've added in a few effects, just noise risers and stuff like that. I just have one sidechain group. I wouldn't normally just have one sidechain group, but for this purpose it works. So I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and overview of the brand new plugin Modulate. I really enjoyed using it. I really enjoyed limiting myself to just a saw wave and trying to create some bass lines out of it and a, a dmb tune out of it just using modulate and some eqs so yeah i've had a lot of fun i hope you did too and i hope you are well and have a good day